Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer. Welcome in this new video. Today I'm creating my own sketchbook from scratch. I always been a sketchbook lover and I love collecting sketchbooks, but I never did some myself, so let's go. A few years ago, I bought some self-adhesive fabric and I think it could be really interesting to use it for the cover. I want to try the Coptic binding, which create a really beautiful book spine. I follow the sea lemon grid tutorial to do so, and if you're interested, I'll put the link in description. So I'm starting by choosing the fabric and calculating the size that I need for the cover. I'm doing an A6 sketchbook, so I need the cover to be just a bit larger to the top, the bottom and the right. At the left, the cover will be aligned with the paper. I cut my cardboard in two covers, one for the front and one for the back of the sketchbook. Then I mark the fabric to know where I have to cut the angles and I cut it to have it in shape. I'm removing the protection of the sticker and I stick the fabric on my cover. Then I'm cutting two pieces of paper that I fix with double-sided tape to finish the covers. And that's done! The fabric is super pretty with the golden shells. It looks great! The sketchbook will be an experimentation sketchbook. I want to try to put some variety in the papers that I use and I want to be able to do some tests with colored paper and tracing paper. To do so, I took my Clairefontaine carbon paper, which is black, some transparent paper from Office 3 and some pink and white classic printing paper. I'm selecting which paper I associate together, cutting them in size and creating my leaflets. Once it's done, I have 10 leaflets ready to be bind. I'm starting by marking the holes for the leaflets and the covers, then I'm punching the holes with my needle, and now the real binding starts. For the first time, I'm pretty happy with the result. It's far from perfect because I did a lot of beginner mistakes, but it wasn't so bad. In the tutorial, she is using a double yarn, but for my paper, it was way too thick. Instead of starting over, I just changed after binding a few leaflets. It was also not easy to understand the Coptic binding concept, but once it was okay, I was way faster. The stitching is really pretty and even if it's a bit messy, it's giving a really beautiful finish to the sketchbook. It allows the sketchbook to open flat and I think it will be really practical when it comes to drawing inside. However, the spine is thicker than the rest of the sketchbook because of this specific binding method. I don't know yet if I will be able to improve that. The fact that I was using different type of paper wasn't helpful as well, because the sheets weren't perfectly the same size. Anyway, I found it super cute, I love the size, the color of the cover and also the different type of paper that I put inside, and I hope that I will enjoy using it. And that's it for today! Um, don't hesitate to tell me what you think of this sketchbook in comment or if you have some questions. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!